Happy Thanksgiving. Just like to spend a moment here and say how thankful I am for all of you for following along, making this job fun. Hopefully I somehow enhance your following of the 49ers and of the NFL. So on this day, there is no media availability at the 49ers facility. They will still be practicing, but I, I had to figure out a way to pop out some more content to you so you can enjoy your Thanksgiving, which hopefully will be full of football, food, and family, and also some friends. And uh, my way of doing it is a look back at some 49ers Vikings history. Yes, what you see there right to my left is the Steve Young Vikings run from 1988, October 88, when I was three months old. I was born on Cinco de Mayo of that year. An iconic run, a 49-yarder, as fate would have it, and one that gives us a great opportunity to watch a little bit more right now. Let's take a look at Steve Young, and let's take a listen to Lon Simmons. Young, back to throw. In trouble, he's going to be sacked. No, gets away. He runs, gets away again, goes to the 40, gets away again, to the 35, gets back to the 30, to the 20, the 50, the 10. He dies, touchdown 49ers. Epic. Gets away again, Lon Simmons. That has replayed in my head ever since the first time I heard that call. Steve Young's description of the play, well, it's as good as you might expect it to be. It was as if I were a cartoon character. One door closed, so I turned around and ran in another direction. And then another door closed, so I turned around in another direction. And suddenly, it was like water running downhill. What a moment. And it's even more epic when you realize the context. Steve Young and Joe Montana were alternating, essentially, as quarterbacks that season because Montana was really banged up. And Bill Walsh was also trying to solve two-quarterback carousel rotation because he wanted to light a fire under Joe Montana. The reason Bill Walsh was trying to light a fire under everybody was because the year before against the Vikings, this happened. Oh, I have to... There you go. The day the Vikings put Joe Montana on the bench and Bill Walsh on the hot seat. The 49ers were the best team in football during the 1987 regular season, but they lost in the divisional playoffs to the Minnesota Vikings. There was a quarterback controversy that developed that season and with that loss. It was Steve Young, Joe Montana with Bill Walsh being the head coach and the point person. Eddie DeBartolo Jr., the 49ers owner, was furious after this loss. He wanted to fire Bill Walsh. Carmen Policy, 49ers GM, convinced Bill to not fire, uh, to convince Eddie to not fire Bill Walsh. And because of that, Bill stuck around for the 1988 season, which was highly stressful for him. In fact, this even this touchdown was stressful for Bill Walsh. Because it was an off-script play, and Bill Walsh loved quarterbacks who operated on script. Steve Young wouldn't become the starter for the 49ers until 1991. That was after Bill Walsh retired after winning the Super Bowl in 88, but that Super Bowl did not come easily. 49ers had to meander their way and wind their way through trials and tribulations in 88. There were 6-5 and five at one point of the season. Bill Walsh even broke a rib on the sideline when a punt returner decked him in a loss to the Phoenix Cardinals that season. So that was injury on top of insult. 49ers also lost a game of candlestick to the Raiders that year in which they scored only three points. But once Joe Montana got healthy, they stopped this whole two quarterback mix and match. And Joe Montana dissected teams in the pocket over the stretch run of the 88 season. The 49ers got their revenge over the Vikings in the divisional round of the 88 playoffs. Then they went, to Soldier Field, and the finesse-ass 49ers beat the crap out of the Chicago Bears in, like, what, negative 27-degree wind chill. They then beat the Bengals in the Super Bowl. John Taylor caught the touchdown pass for Joe Montana after he saw John Candy in the crowd. The journey of that season was a lot like Steve Young's run, weaving through the Vikings' defense. This is a great black-and-white picture of old scoreboard at Candlestick. 
And here comes another great picture of Steve Young after the game at Candlestick. God, miss that place. Really do. So that article is up on The Athletic. It's pinned up in the comment section, or I'll put it there when I do have a chance to put it in the comment section. Go ahead and check it out. One dollar a month right now is the Black Friday deal, and you have a black and white photo right there for the Black Friday deal. Wrote this a couple years ago, but if you're not a subscriber, haven't seen it yet, it was on a 30th anniversary. And we can take so many lessons from those 1980s 49ers and apply them to now, right? The 49ers have a quarterback who's very proficient from the pocket and Jimmy Garoppolo. They have a youngster who is trying to learn the ways of an NFL-style pocket passer and Trey Lance. Bill Walsh brought aboard two quarterbacks to deepen that room, and ultimately both of them ended up in the Hall of Fame with Joe Montana and Steve Young. The 49ers, well, I mean, it's our dax for two guys to be Hall of Famers, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind both Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance winning a title or two for them, and they obviously have a chance this year as they enter Sunday against the Vikings at 5-5. Five and five. If the 49ers win this game against Minnesota, they will be 6-5, and five, just like they were after beating Minnesota in that 1988 season. How cool would that be? That was a season that was extremely stressful, extremely hard for Bill Walsh, to the point that it led him to retire after the year due to that stress. He would later return to college football and coach Stanford for two years in the early 90s. But I think this year's been stressful for the 49ers as well. Kyle Shanahan was gloomy at the start of this year. He was straining hard to figure things out. It seems that the 49ers have figured something out, but the extent to how far that they have actually done that will be determined by how well they perform down this seven-game home stretch. And the first of those seven games, fittingly, comes against the Minnesota Vikings. So enjoy this one on Sunday. Enjoy this Thanksgiving. Subscribe to the channel. And again, I'm thankful for you all. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Have a great day.